you ready for a bombshell? Bombshell. Bugs are gross. That's nasty. As one of the original and commonly known creepy crawly Decepticons called the Insecticons, perfect name given that they're insects. Mind-blowing, right? Bombshell has a rather sick hobby of manipulating people in mind-controlling, making them do whatever he pleases. From terrible pranks to absolute torment. I think we found another p With his cynical way to play with his victims, Bombshell is a nasty creature with no remorse. Does the figure do it justice? Bombshell transforms into a beetle, and if I ever see a live one in this size, I move into another part of the globe. For Bombshell, I'll make an exception if he doesn't roll crap on my carpet. Beyond the gross origins, this insect is a beefy hunk of a hard shell with lots of smooth round shapes that'll make the submarines cat call. Check out the iconic re-engineered horn with nostril blasters with a bonus horn on top, big Decepticon logo on top, and conventional eyes that see in every direction at the same time. You can't escape his sight. Some red vent details that look like heaters and pegs on the back for... Honestly, I'm not sure. His new mold Wavemate Power Glide was given the weapon mode treatment. Makes you wonder if they were gonna do the same here. There's no official mode and the pegs are just shy of 5mm, but his hands seem to have barrels that you can flip forward. I guess it's just the conspiracy lost to question. I demand to know! Despite the creepy legs, I feel they could have gone creepier. I mean, it's a Decepticon bug, the potential to go all out nasty is there. I'm sure there's a comic, but that might take away from the bulbous raw build and you don't want that, do you? Really, the only thing I don't like is that it doesn't hold together well. Waist joint doesn't lock in and the arms only hold onto each other for support. So if you mess with it, generally you mess with it. Otherwise, Bombshell makes a pretty good insect, eye-poppingly bulky compared to his brothers and a very obvious strong presence. Robot mode. Bombshell doesn't take a lot to transform, but that just means we can get right into the party because there's some good things going on. Feeling slimmed down by comparison to the alt mode, there's still a round hard surface to the parts that make him look tougher than the rest. That is, if you can get past the bug legs. Vomit. Heads borderline hearts of steel with a huge cow catcher almost giving him a huge taunting smirk and beady red eyes behind a black head. Good shaping, but uh... It doesn't move. This might be due to the horn sticking out of the back like he's Emperor of the Bugs. But I don't understand why he couldn't get a joint in the torso to at least give us something. Lost opportunity. Did someone say articulation? Ball jointed shoulder, ball joint elbow, waist rotation, ball jointed hips, rotation below and knee joint. The lack of the head joint sucks balls, but the surprising waist joint helps shift the focus side to side. The individual insect legs can move out of the way even the ones pinned in the legs are separated. Too bad they don't tab in because they're just left to wiggle and distract you while you're trying to get a decent pose. And knee guns... No complaints here. You also get what looks like blasters over the fist, much like Rook, but you can't attach a weapon. If you're wondering why they did this, please don't ask stupid questions. I even like the back detail with the magic 8-ball installed. And why are these buttons on his tummy for? It looks like Darth Vader. And bonus, you'll get a butterfly joint. Good baby on a gravy. This is a good bombshell. He doesn't get his name for being a wussy pants. He's a tough bug to squish. And why would you, except... Bugs are gross. Simple and not perfect, there are certain quirks they could have improved, but for a cheap figure, this works just fine. Just don't call them a bug, they're very against discrimination. 